Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here actually with a little bit of a different kind of video. So I don't think it's any surprise that myself and my boyfriend Ryan love to create travel videos. In fact, I have a playlist which I will link right up here. As I mentioned in a couple of my recent videos, I've been going through like this creative resurgence and I've just been getting a lot of visions on how I want to up my ante and I want to, you know, create this these travel videos and how I want to just really up my YouTube game. I was asking myself the question, how did I want to enhance my YouTube experience? And we have a lot of trips coming up and we're so excited to go. And I love nothing more than sharing my story with you guys when we travel places, but I don't want to invest in a lot of time or money into equipment to get those grade A quality photos and videos. So while doing a little soul searching, I discovered why not enhance the thing I already have, which is my phone. I did some research and I bought some stuff. So today I'm here with a travel gear haul for you guys of a lot of the things that I'm going to start incorporating in our future travels and our future YouTube videos and things just in general to help the YouTube game. So if you guys want to see what I've recently picked up and how I intend on using it and just regular suggestions too on this kind of gear, then keep on watching. So I film all of my travel stuff on my iPhone 8. It's the one thing that I always have with me and a lot of us do too. And no lie, the iPhone cameras are grade A quality. So why not just take a little bit of time, money and investment to use what you already have? For me, I don't wanna to have to worry about an expensive camera breaking or having to lug around so much extra gear. And so for me, I just use what I already have. So for myself, I have an iPhone 8, which is what I film all my YouTube videos on. I also edit using my phone and that's basically it. I run my entire website, YouTube, social media, all the above on my iPhone as well as my laptop. So it's very easy to, you know, get out there and show your story and share your story with millions of people if you have access to the internet. So the next thing I want to talk about is something that I recently picked up, but I have been an avid lover of Apple, which is no surprise if I have the iPhone. So I recently picked up a 13 inch MacBook Pro with touch bar and I wasn't going to buy it, but my old one conked the bed. So I had to break down and I wasn't going to buy it with the touch bar. Then the guy at the Apple store who was so helpful and a huge shout out to him because he really did help me make a solid investment. The guy at the Apple store was telling me that in the future, like the touch bar is more than just like a fancy little doodad. It's going to help with video editing. It's going to help with photo editing. It's going to help with a magnitude of things and why not advance with the technology? So I recently picked this up. Now granted, this isn't a very cheap toy <laughs> by any means, but for me, I've been an avid lover of Apple. So syncing up the iCloud so that way whatever I take photos of on my phone or immediately on my laptop and I can start editing, playing with them enhancing them and making them better too. I've been using my iPad when I travel and I don't love typing on my iPad because I don't love the touch screen technology. I find that it's very hard when you're trying to edit and when you really just want to fine tune things. So this is definitely going to be coming with us on trips. It's so lightweight and I mean it weighs nothing at all. It will fit into my backpack. It will fit no questions asked. So yeah, this is definitely something that I haven't been using for very long because it's not even a week old, but it is something that I do plan on incorporating to help make transition easier when it comes to editing and whatnot. I've already mentioned this product in a favorites video recently, but this is the Moment Wide Lens, and now these are lenses that attach to your smartphones, which really just kind of take a standard view of frame and just enhance it so much more. Thanks. Now I picked up the wide lens because with our trip to Iceland I want to capture it all without it looking small and cramped. What so this what lens does is it takes you know your typical small frame with filming on an iPhone and expands it. You'll be able to tell a difference from when I use my lens and when I don't use my lens and I love these because they are really good quality. They don't feel cheap. I've used cheap ones in the past that literally clip onto your phone and they don't work. This attaches right to the back of the camera lens case that I bought for it. And you know, they come with little travel kits, with cases, with lens covers. So that way you can pack a couple of them in your bag and then you can get a bunch of different shots too. Again, this has already been mentioned in a favorites video, but this is something that 
I think picking up a couple of these wouldn't hurt. There's some wide lens, there's macro lenses, there's a bunch of different types to check out. So I will also be sure to link Moments website so you can go and shop and browse. They are expensive because they're about $99 for just the lens and then also $29.99 for the case as well. And these lenses don't work without the case. So it's kind of like about $120 when all is said and done. But honestly, you throw them right in your pocket and they just really help elevate your game. So I know when we were in Germany, I felt as if I couldn't get enough of a view of everything just because there was so much to see. This is gonna help you expand your view. The next two things that are really important when I'm traveling, especially when I'm vlogging and traveling, are is making sure that I'm supplied with a full battery because when you're using your phone to post and to film and take photos and just doing a bunch of different things like navigating around a city, you're going to drain your battery pretty quickly. So one thing that I used when we were in Berlin and Amsterdam that really helped me out was the Mophie uh, Juice Pack Chargeable Battery case so basically what this does is your phone fits right in here and it's an automatic charger and it charges while you're using your phone so basically it's just a portable charging case i really just kind of use it in a pinch if like say i dip below 50 just charge it up a little bit more and you know i'm good to go this lasts a long time this is great if i know i'm going to be outside seeing all day long and i won't have access to a usb charging station or if i just don't have you know a wall plug or anything of that nature I really recommend this if it's going to be even like a late night out with girls if you're having a girls night out at the bar or something. I have such anxiety about having a dead smartphone especially because if we're filming, vlogging, whatever we're doing I want to make sure that we have a full battery so we can capture it all. So definitely pick up a Mophie charging case just because they're great to have. I kept this on my phone for a really long time even after the fact because it's good to always have a charged phone. It gives me peace of mind to know that my phone isn't gonna die while I'm in the middle of filming or something. I also have a travel battery, which I think is just the power station from Mophie as well too. I will also be sure to link everything down below too so you guys can kind of browse and pick to see what's best for you. This is something that I keep with me even if I'm not on vacation. I literally keep this in my purse fully charged because again, you don't want to be caught with a dead battery or if you're in the middle of like trying to navigate somewhere and your phone dies like your SOL. This is definitely something to invest in because it does last a long time. I'll keep this in my bag and not have to worry about it charging in a couple of days if I do use it heavily, which I haven't had to, which is very fortunate. But it's nice knowing to be reassured that we will never be without a dead battery ever again. So there's no excuse. So the next so. toy that I picked up, which was something that I really wish we would have had while we were traveling in Berlin and Amsterdam, which is something I wasn't even aware of until I started doing my research. But this is the Zoom. I don't know if I'm going to say this right. This is the Zayun. This is the Smooth 4 um, photo phone stabilizer. Basically, it's a gimbal. So, so this is a gimbal, and obviously I don't have my phone in it, so I can't really show you how this works. But if you know what a gimbal is, you understand that it is a phone stabilizer. So while you're filming scenarios, scenes, it keeps the phone stable without the shaky hands. So I really wish that we had this when we were in Berlin because you want that smooth transition and not like that shaky jerky motion. This helps you tenfold. This was a little bit pricier. This was about $140 and it's one of those toys that I really don't think we're gonna use all that terribly much, but it's good to have. So I do have a tripod that is different than the one that I used when I'm sitting at home filming. I do have a little handheld one, but it's so small and it does not feel sturdy in my hands. This definitely gives me enough girth and grit on the bottom here. So then, and the best part is everything is controlled down here. So then that way you're not touching the camera and having the shaky after effects and having to play with settings and exposures and things of that nature. Plus this soft is, it can go both ways where you know you can film just like this or even filming like a selfie. It doesn't feel awkward. It doesn't feel too heavy. It feels in fact pretty pretty solid and so this is one of those kind of fun toys to play with but I'm really excited nonetheless. And yeah I really think that's going to make a huge world of difference when it comes to creating that kind of cinematic storyline and telling the story of our travels. So that was the one thing that I was impulsive and bought but 
it's too cool not to. You have to carry all of this stuff. It's getting a good quality backpack to make sure you have enough room for all of your devices. So recently I've done some research and I found out this really cool indie brand based out of California and they're called Kindly and this is their backpacks that they offer. They offer them in two colors currently and at first it looks like just a regular backpack and this is kind of why I bought this because it was too cool of a concept not to. So not only does this backpack have a ton of compartments which will make putting gear in certain places so easy for you, it also has an insulated cooler at the bottom that can be used even for like if you go swimming and you're having to carry your wet clothes around because when we go to Iceland we're gonna obviously be heading to the Blue Lagoon so I don't want to have to carry our wet dirty swimsuits around so pop them in there we also pick them up because they are insulated so then that way if we want to go hiking traveling whatever we're doing we're gonna have snacks with us at all times and they're just a really great backpack they are super big there's tons of compartments in here and be sure to check out Kinley because they are a small company based out of California so made in the USA and they're just really great their customer service is awesome and yeah definitely excited to be able to cart everything around in this backpack once again I love helping small indie companies kind of reach out and make a name for themselves and I'm really excited to see where this company can go because if you check out their Instagram it gives you such wonderlust vibes and it makes me so excited for upcoming trips. Again, this is kind of a weird video to discuss because I haven't tested out a lot of these things. So it's kind of like a haul, but it's also kind of like, tell me if I bought the right thing because I, like I said, I really haven't tested a lot of this stuff out just because I really haven't gone anywhere where I could test it. But you know, this is, I've done enough research to know that these are good brands, good qualities, good things to have if I am going to up my cinematography hobby at this point which is what this is is a hobby and you know just being able to tell our stories of our travels in the best way we know i'm not the best when it comes to my travel vlogs but i really want to get better so i can share my adventures with you guys and also for ourselves for later down the road that was basically everything inside this travel gear haul so thank you so much for watching it's truly appreciated if you like my videos and if you like my content and if you like me feel free to subscribe by hitting the button down below and getting posted when i post new a travel vlogs and b hauls because apparently I now do hauls. Who knew? We'll also be sure to do a full blog review of all the items inside with links and everything so you can go and check them out for yourself. And I will link that down below at the website, down over at sarahlock.com, 2Hs2Ks. That didn't sound right, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> and I'll also be sure to link all my social media profiles down below too so you can follow me wherever I might be. Yeah, I would definitely love to hear any other suggestions or if there's other brands or other products that you think that I might need, especially because I don't want to invest in a stupid expensive camera that's just way too much money for me and quite frankly your girl don't have time for that after buying that laptop so either way thank you guys so much for watching take care love you always until next time we'll see you guys later bye